Okay, now that we've discussed basic, simple estimation, ballparking, using some very simple rules of thumb, let's look at being a little more precise, but still with very simple mathematics, using what is sometimes called dimensional analysis to perform accurate unit conversions from one realm to another realm. And units are important, so we make sure that we get our quantitative analysis done correctly on system design or preparation for system planning and so forth and, and troubleshooting. So let's start with a few very basic, simple mathematical rules. Are you ready? Here's the first one. Anything divided by one equals itself. Everybody remember that from the third grade? Anything divided by one equals itself. So let's do an example. Pardon me for this being so elementary. Here we go. Let's start with five divided by one is going to equal what? It's going to equal five because anything divided by one equals itself. Rule number one. Now let's look at rule number two. Rule number two is that anything multiplied times one equals itself. So let's look at that one again. If I take five times one, that equals divided by itself equals one. This is pretty tough math, isn't it? So now let's take that 5 divided by 5 equals 1. Anything divided by itself equals 1. That is rule number 3. With those three rules and some basic unit conversion equivalencies, we can convert almost any unit to any other unit, even complex units, be it weight, linear measure, square measure, cubic measure, rate of speed, whatever. We can do all the conversions we need to do. Remembering those three rules and learning a few additional unit conversion equivalencies. Now let's go through the ones we already know. We already know that there's 12 inches in a foot, right? 12 inches equals one foot. We already know that there are three feet in one yard. Three feet equals one yard. We already know that a mile has 5,280 feet in it. Pretty straightforward. One mile equals 5,280 feet. Now, let's see how we can take those unit conversion equivalencies and fit them into the rules we were just talking about. I'm going to do a real simple one just to get the ball rolling here. Let's say that we're starting with 23, oh, let's make it easier. Let's say 10 yards of, of measure, 10 yards of material. So we're starting with 10 yards. And here's what we want to do. We always want to put what we're starting with at the beginning of our dimensional analysis equation. And we always want to label our units. So there's our 10 yards. And to keep it simple, because I'm going to be building fractions as I go across the board, I want to put this over 1. I've divided by one. Have I changed it? No. Anything divided by one equals itself. And I'm going to make this a parenthetical quantity. That's what I'm starting with. Now that I know I'm starting with 10 yards, what I want to know is, is how many inches are there? How many inches are there in those 10 yards? So I'm going to go step by step, more steps than I need to, but this is for illustration purposes. I can multiply this times one, and I've not changed anything. Here's what I'm going to do. I know that three feet equals one yard. This becomes a puzzle. Whatever unit is on top and the bottom at the same time, cancel out. So I'm going to create a value of one right next to this and multiply my 10 yards by one. And the way I'm going to do that is I know that three feet equals one yard because three feet and one yard are the same thing. This is one of our three rules. I'm dividing something by itself. If I divide something by itself, it equals one. 
Now I'm multiplying that 1 times this. I haven't changed anything because anything times 1 equals itself. Now, I need to keep solving the puzzle because out here I want inches. Let's go another step. I'm going to put up another parenthetical quantity here of a unit conversion equivalency. I know that one foot is the same thing as 12 inches. So I'm going to put down here one foot equals 12 inches. 12 inches equals one foot. Anything divided by itself equals one. Anything times one equals itself. I still have not really changed the quantity of this, but I end up with an answer in inches. And here's how I do it. Units above cancel same units below. Yards cancels yards. Feet cancels feet. And guess what I end up with? The only unit I have left is inches. Now I go through and multiply all the numbers on the top and divide by all the numbers on the bottom. So I have 12 times 3 is 36, times 10 is 360, divided by 1 is 360. I can punch that into my calculator. 10 times 3 times 12 divided by 1 divided by 1 divided by 1 equals 360 inches. Touchdown. I've converted 10 yards to inches by following a very logical process by being able to cancel my units with the way I've set this problem up and I can apply this even though it's very elementary in this case I can apply this to even changing from metric to imperial or imperial to metric with more complex units. We need to have a few more equivalencies though other than the common ones we already have memorized. So we're going to go through a few that a good solar technician should add to their list of memorized unit conversion equivalencies. Just like you know there are 12 inches in a foot, you should know the rest of these as well. I'm going to go over those right now. And then there will be a little